Hi everyone, it is me, Aset, here at The Goddess Inside, and today we are going to be talking about synchronicity, coincidence, the power of your mind, and the Egyptian god Thoth. So if you are intrigued, stick around. There is a difference between synchronistic events, divine guidance, and coincidence. So one of the things that I, I recently wrote about this in a blog, so I want to share with you here in this format. Um, if you think about your mind and how sometimes you see a sign, a random sign that happens, a lot of times it's numbers. People will tell me, I keep seeing the same numbers over and over again. What does that mean? Um, or sometimes they'll say, um, I keep seeing these same numbers. And so that gives me a confirmation of whatever it is that, you know, they've been kind of asking for, um, asking for a sign. Um, so that's something else we're going to talk about. But our brains are wired as human beings uh, with something called a confirmation bias. So if there is something that you are looking for, your, your mind is actively seeking out where that is. And as soon as it sees that, it latches onto it and then gives that thing a meaning. So um, that's why sometimes I like to tell people if they're asking for a sign, ask for something that is super obscure, not finding a penny on the ground, not finding a white feather. It needs to be something like really different, like seeing an Oriole in a painting. That might be something really different. Um, seeing seeing a, a picture of a horse sitting down. Um, you know, these are things that are unusual and that if you do happen to see them, then they can be read more definitely as a sign rather than a coincidence. Because a lot of times if you'll ask for a sign such as you want to see a cardinal or a white feather, um, cardinals are everywhere, hawks are everywhere. Um, generally there's feathers everywhere. So it's not that those things don't have meaning, but they are such a common thing that happens out there that it makes it more confusing for us when we're trying to decide if it's a, a definite sign or if it's just, you know, there's a bird nest up in the tree right above where you found the feather. So um, our brains are really amazing this way. So another example would be um, to tell the difference between a coincidence and synchronistic event would be um, if you had a dream one night and there happened to be a waterfall and a man in the bottom of the waterfall in his little boat um, and he's fishing and then you wake up and you're like, huh, that was kind of interesting and but has no meaning to you. So you start to look for, okay, so there's a waterfall. What does the water element mean? What does a man fishing, what does that element mean? These kinds of things. Um, but then later that day, you go out to lunch with a friend and there happens to be a painting of a waterfall and there's a little man at the bottom fishing. So right away, your brain has already, you know, been processing your dream. What is the meaning of the waterfall? What is the meaning of the man in the of fishing at the bottom of the river? So when it sees something like that, it's tuned into it and it recalls that memory that you had of your dream. And then it's trying to associate a meaning to it. So you could possibly read that as, you know, oh, maybe I need to go fishing. <laughs> maybe I need to go visit the waterfall at the state park. Um, but not necessarily the case. If there's no, no thing that you're looking for, you just had this dream, there was these images in it, and then you see them later, that would be considered a coincidence. Now, if, however, you've been thinking about wanting to go to an area where there is a waterfall. Maybe you wanted to go fishing. Maybe you were thinking about all of the people that went over Niagara Falls in a little barrel. Um, and so you wanted to go to Niagara Falls because you've never been there or you were there as a kid and you want to go back. And so you've been researching how to get there. Do you want to go to the Canadian side or the American side? Where might you stay? When will you go? And then you have this lunch with a friend and you see this painting. So that could be seen as possibly a sign of, hey, I've been thinking about going to Niagara Falls 
and there's a picture of Niagara Falls or a waterfall. And so I think that this is something that, yes, I definitely need to make sure that I plan this trip. So because your brain is doing this, I don't wanna take away the magic that's happening because for your brain to be able to do that is a really incredible thing. And so if you can harness that, that's how we can use it and to help us move forward in our lives and to know that we're receiving, oh, this is the direction that we need to go. This is the thing we need to change, that type of thing. So think about things that you're wanting to do or that you're wanting to accomplish. Write those things down. Let's use the example, again, it's the one I gave in the blog, um, the example of wanting to live somewhere near a creek. So you have that in your mind, you've put that out into the universe, now your mind is hanging on to it. So as you're driving around, you happen to see a sign in the yard and it says a house is for sale. And you notice right away, there's a creek there. So it, it, it piques your interest and maybe that's gonna be the perfect house and the perfect location for you. So there's some divine guidance. Thinking about the things that you want to manifest, what those things look like, where those things might be. Then when you see them out and about in the world, you've trained your brain to look for these things. Then you can go and answer that. You can show up at that place. You can go meet these people you can talk to this person um, and find out more information and that can help you to manifest all of the things that you're wanting. So if you, you can use this for anything. If you're wanting to study um, underwater basket weaving, all of a sudden you are going to be finding and honing in on basket weaving classes, underwater, you know, learning how to hold your breath underwater, you're going to be seeing programs about the ladies that, that die, free dive, you know, so there's all of these things that your brain is going to be looking for and helping you to manifest the thing that it is that you want. So I encourage you to work with this amazing ability that your brain has to look for the things that you're looking for. And there's a saying that I really, really love. And it's from the poet Rumi of what I seek is seeking me. So everything that your brain is searching for is all out there and it's trying to present itself to you. Now, how does the Egyptian god Thoth tie into all of these things? Thoth is a god of creation. So in one of the stories of creation, he has a cauldron and out of it, he pulls the elements of moisture and air and the earth. Um, the dryness. He, he pulls out all of these things from the cauldron. He creates life. The other aspect of Thoth is that he's the scribe. So he is, he is writing everything down. He's making lists. He's checking them. Uh, he's making, you know, he's just doing a brain dump, writing down all of his thoughts. And um, so this is something that you can do too, is you can invite the god Thoth to help you to write the things down and then to create all of these things and, you know, pulling the element of moisture out of a cauldron is, you know, kind of like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, you know, there's this element of magic that's happening uh, within this soup of the mind, basically, and the things that life is wanting for you to have. So I hope that this was helpful. I know this is a little bit longer than a usual video, but um, I wanted to share with you the differences between synchronicity coincidence, how to work with the amazing qualities of your brain to manifest your present and your future and working with the God thought. So if this has been helpful um, and you want to share with me some of the things that you're putting out into the universe to create and find, then please put those down in the comments. Um, be sure that you head over to thegoddessinside.com and sign up for my email list. I send out two a month. Uh, packed full of information, helpful videos like this and blogs for you, uh, workshops coming up and other things that I share. Um, so please 
manifest all the things that you want. I hope that you do. And as always, until next time, may you enjoy everything about today.